Most Python beginners keep making these three mistakes without even realizing. Stick with me to the end and I will not only show you the mistakes, but also how to easily avoid them. Hello coders, welcome to my channel. I'm David, your guide to mastering programming. Most common beginner mistake when working with for loop is changing the length of a list. That way, some unexpected behavior occurs. For example, if I have a list L that has elements 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4, and if I want to iterate through this list, I can write for loop like this, for i in L, and then if I want to check if number is even, if i mod 2 equals 0, this way I check if when I divide i by 2, the remain is 0, that way that means that i is indeed divisible by 2. And now I want to remove those elements, like 2, 2 and 4, because those are even. I can write here, remove l dot remove and then i. Here I'll write, I'll print something to show you why this won't work. As you can see, first we have element 1, it's not even, so the list is the same. Then we have element 2 and the list is not the same because 2 is even, we remove the 2. But then we expect to check this 2 again, but we are checking 3. And as you can see, I only checked 4 elements, not all 5. Why that happens? Because when I have elements 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4, my i will get to 1, nothing will happen, then it will get to 2 and it will point to this exact position. But when I remove this element, my i will still point to this position and will move to the next element. It will not check this position again. So the next element will be 3 and the end result will be 1, 2, 3, as I have shown you. If you want to fix this mistake, you need to iterate through the copy of this exact list. There are two ways of iterating through the copy. First is by slicing. This means I want all the elements from the beginning until the end. And another way is to use function l.copy. You can use whichever you like. This way we are iterating through the copy. So we iterate through 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4 always. Yes, 2, 2 and 4 will be removed, but they won't be removed from the copy, but from the original list. Now, when I run this, we have all five iterations and the last iteration shows the final result, 1 and 3, which is the result that we want. Another common mistake is that you pass a list to a function and you want to modify the list just temporarily inside the function. But in Python, lists are mutable. So when you pass the list and change it inside the function, it will be changed outside as well. For example, I'll have the same list. And now if I have a function def add 3, which will add 3 to, my, to all my elements in the list, I can write for i in range uh, len of l2. And now l2 of i will be equal to plus equal 3. This is shortcut for writing this. Now this way all the elements will have plus 3. Now when I print, now when I call this function add 3 and pass L and print L, you think that this L will be the same. But the reality is different. All the elements got plus 3. That's because L is mutable type, which means if you change it, the values of the elements, the memory location still stays the same. So when you pass L, you actually pass the same memory location. And when you change something at that memory location, this L will be also changed. Another solution, like before, is to pass the copy. Now I will use the function copy to show you that this l copy function works as well as slicing. 
and now everything worked perfectly. The list isn't changed. And the last most common mistake is that beginners think that keyword is and equal equal is the same. It's not. Is checks if the values have the same ID, which is the memory location, while equal equal checks if two values are the same. For example, if I have A that has value 1 and B that has value 2, when I write print A equals B, and now print A is B, you will see what will happen. But if I have, for example, list that has two elements and Y that also has two elements, and now if I print a, uh, x equals equals y and print x is y, you will see what happens. Also, I want to show you that this id of a and id, now I will write here, print f string and here a and then ID of A, here B, ID of B, I will copy this line and here print the same line but with X's and Y, this will be Y, this will be X. Now when I run this, as you can see, A and B have the Whoa, 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 I made a mistake. Here should be one. As you can see, A and B have the same memory location. So, first, I check if their values are the same. They are one and one. So, we print true. But then, with is, we check if two values have the same memory location. In this case, they have because they are mutable. So, when you create one, one is stored in the memory. And that location, I mean that variable name, is bound to that location. So Python, if you have, for example, multiple ones, sometimes can assign all those variables to that same location. In which case, when you write is and check if they have the same location, it will be true. But that's not guaranteed. So in some cases, this will be true. In other cases, it won't. But with mutable types like lists, as you can see, even though x and y have the same value, as you can see here, the first print checks if they have the same value, and it's true, they still have different memory locations, because Python with mutable types creates different locations, even though the values are the same. And in this case, when I check is, it says false, because they don't have the same memory location. I hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe for more coding content. See you in my next video. Until then, keep coding.